There are many factors that go into successfully navigating a downhill course. Your success and safety will depend on a key decision that you must make even before you get on the bike. If you want to safely navigate a course down a rocky slope, you must first decide if you'll be riding or driving the bike. If you choose to simply ride the bike, you will then be subjected to the path that the bike will naturally take. You will spend most of your time responding reactively to the modulations of the bike as gravity takes you downhill. In contrast, if you choose to drive the bike, then you will be in control of the lines that the bike takes, and you'll be able to proactively choose not only where the bike goes, but the safest and fastest route down the hill. Dealing with technological change in your organization is very similar to downhill biking. Whether you choose to acknowledge it or not, your organization is riding the waves of change. You have a choice to make. Are you going to go along for the ride and respond reactively to change? Or are you going to take charge and be in the driver's seat, utilizing the change as an opportunity to enhance your institution's learning environment? In this course, you'll learn not only how to recognize the opportunities that innovation can bring about, you'll also learn how to leverage those opportunities as catalysts that can help you transform and enhance learning. In this module, you'll identify an authentic innovation opportunity that you can implement in your organization. The innovation opportunity will become the central focus of your innovation plans, which you will develop in this course and then continue to build out and implement throughout the rest of the program. Your project must be authentic, meaning it must be something you can actually do and that you're able to begin to implement over the next three to 18 months. Your project must be large enough to give you something to work on over the duration of the program, but it must be small and focused enough that you can implement and lead it. The key is to explore ways to use technology to enhance the learning environment. Whether you're going to implement something like blended learning, mobile learning, online learning, an e-portfolio initiative, a maker space, or other type of project, you'll be working on aspects of this innovation plan in the other courses in the program, so you must be prepared to continue to work and refine your ideas over the longer term. Don't worry. If you aren't really sure what you want to work on or can work on, we'll help you shape and mold your ideas over the next few weeks to help you either narrow your, or broaden your focus so that you can develop an innovation plan or a proposal that you will be submitting to your audience in your organization. You've been introduced to the COVA learning approach in the previous courses, and in this course and for the rest of the program, you'll be living COVA. The key to success in this course and in the program is to choose an authentic project that you can take full ownership of and that you can then share with others in your organization.